You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're taking a first look at Batman modern suit from The Flash. Yes, Hot Toys got nuts and gave us this amazing figure. I don't know if this movie is going to be good or not, but it's Michael Keaton, it's Batman, you can go wrong with that. Alright guys, so let's dive in and take a look at this amazing announcement and honestly, I can wait. So we're going to start, I don't know about the price because it's too early, you know, we don't know how much it's going to be, but we'll discuss price later in the video. So here we have guys, Batman, this is Michael Keaton from The Flash, yes, it's older and I really like this thing. So the first thing is the head sculpt. It's really freaking good. I mean, it's Michael Keaton, guys. Come on, come on. You can't deny that you can see the likeness there. Wrinkles, paint application, sculpting is top. Really nice. As you can see with the suit, which I'm gonna talk about this later as well because I have my concerns about the suit. Yes, we know from in the past we have this Batman and you know articulation was really a pain. But moving on to the head sculpt, guys, we have separate rolling eyeballs, which is amazing for posing purposes and pictures, of course. As you can tell, this is this is amazing. I mean, you can see the texture on the skin, the expression on the eyes, even the shape of the mouth. You can tell the skin. View cover, the first part. You can see the lips, you know it's Michael Keaton. Love the sculpting on the hair as well. This is something that Hattos has been doing really good for the past figures. Now, this is another shot of the figure here, as you can see holding the cowl. Now, I don't know about the proportions, if this is the right proportion for this figure. I mean, maybe it's just me, but again, this is a prototype, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna definitely improve on this. But I feel like we don't wanna see the same as the other Dark Knight, that you see the head is too big for the body. I have a feeling that this might be the case, right? You can kinda see like it's shrinking from the top, going, <laughs> going slim towards the bottom. But again, it is a prototype, but overall, very happy so far with the suit. Now, seems to be that Hot Toys decided to make some improvements. One of them is for the articulation. And as you can see here, you are basically doing a, a big bend. I mean, you can see the knee, how it's bending on the base, which looks fantastic. If it's lighter feature, it's gonna be great. But you can see that this might be an improvement and that's good, right? This shot is very nice. You can see the suit looking really nice with the Batman logo there. And of course the cape, which gonna be wired as you can see there you know this is another shot of the head scope looks fantastic one more time i mean even the eyebrows <laughs> i'm seriously like this is one of the best head scopes i've seen in a long time now for the next shot we have another shot of the head scope this one looks fantastic i'm not too sure about this piece here guys i don't know if you can see my mouse moving but i'm not too sure about this piece you know but again if it's accurate to the movie i'm okay with that you can see the armor or the suit rather. Um, you can see some plastic pieces in front. So that's a new, that's a first for me. So you can see this shot with the, let's get nuts. <laughs> it is a very nice shot as well. I mean, you can see everything. I mean, look at the belt details, right? The gray with the black, which in the original suits were yellow, now is dark, so that's nice. So we have another chat. This pose, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know about this pose. It's kind of weird. Um, and this is what I said earlier, right? You can see the proportion of the body on this piece here bigger than this. I don't know if it's the, 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 the way of the shot was done, the way the picture was done, but I don't know. I, I hope that they fix the, the proportions at least, right? It seems a bit bigger, you know, from the torso up. So this shot is nice as well. You can see here. Now, of course, this is gonna be, even though they improved the articulation, I can see that we're still gonna struggle with it. Look at the suit, right? So again, it's a prototype, and we know that we're not gonna do a Spider-Man pose with this thing, right? So cape wired, and that's it done as well. You can see this pose here, looking fantastic. I mean, this is gonna be one of the shots many people is gonna put the figure for sure. Then we have this other shot here looking really good. Again, the cape wired and I really like the shape as you can see here, like a bad, uh, bad shape. 
and then we have this shot now we're gonna have interchangeable mouthpieces for sure you can see everything uh, wrinkles going on here this is with the mouth slightly opened uh, again amazing shot as well because of the rolling eyes you're gonna have really cool pictures for this now Hugh says newly developed detailed butt suit with great articulation yes definitely we have articulation you know remember the past batmans it was difficult to pose because of the suit this one here is giving you some room to wiggle so that's good but i really hope it doesn't compromise the overall look of the figure because sometimes when you compromise articulation with look or vice versa you know i don't know it could be a problem right but over overall i think it looks good so here we have three styles of interchangeable lower face so this is the more relaxed one the mouth is slightly open and of course the smirk and to be honest with you out of the three if i have to kind of like give you a score i think this one looks much better for some reason right i mean these two look really good but i think this one is the that's where my mind is going on this one with the smirk it looks really nice okay so then we have this shot here and again looking really nice i really like the design of this cowl i mean it looks fantastic look at this from the ears all the way to the bottom it looks nice the shape is fantastic then we have this shot here and this is another picture that confirms my concerns you know it seems to be again based on the shot that the torso or this part here is bigger than the legs right and we have the same issue with the dark knight so i hope they fix it but overall it does look nice in that you know it's not a deal breaker absolutely not it doesn't look as bad as the other one as the dark knight you know the first you know batman but this one looks nice then we have this shot here looking really nice and again hot toys is definitely showing you that you can pose this figure right you can see the the bending the elbow here i mean obviously you're gonna see wrinkles same thing here on the legs and then we have this pose which looks fantastic too very nice you know with this mouth slightly open so overall very happy you can see the legs you can see here the the chin guards um i mean this is a plastic or, or seems to be like a plastic a piece on top of the suit same thing on the shoulder pads i don't remember if the batman returns of the 1989 batman had the same thing maybe not again it's been a long time but it looks pretty nice this is another really good pose with the you can see the belt here uh this one actually looks much better in terms of articulation looks much better but it's kind of weird pose it's like a weird pose <laughs> so then we have this first edition exclusive accessory so this is another one that looks fantastic here really nice and looks like it comes with a little base here so very good very nice so this is pretty much everything that this figure comes with so obviously we have the head sculpt with separate rolling eyes we have interchangeable face plates amazing we have this exclusive accessory here some other you know accessories and weapons classic to batman we have few hands we have this little start uh like pattern something like that then we have this lighter base and that's nice this base is fantastic now in terms of pricing I don't know guys it's too early so i don't know how much this is gonna be my but my guess my guess this figure is probably gonna be in the 300 dollar range i would probably say either 295 or 315 give or take maybe more i don't know but i think that's my price range if you want to get this figure or pre-order this figure please check out comic concepts you can use the code comic concepts 10 and you can save 10 percent store wide on your first purchase of course now whether i'm gonna love this or hate it guys it's michael keaton come on even if they give me some i'm be happy i love this thing this is gonna be looking amazing when is this gonna be released probably sometime next year maybe q4 next year q3 q4 next year so it's gonna be good and if the movie does good i don't expect to see this in stock for a long time it's probably gonna get waylisted very soon you know if the movie does good 
and I know many people are gonna go to watch this movie just because of this guy. This is our this is our Batman, guys. At least to me it is. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first look video. Please let me know in the comments below if you're gonna get this beauty. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And yes, we made it to 9,000 subscribers. So thank you so much, guys. I promise that I'm gonna be putting more videos, more previews, more reviews, and some fun shows, which I'm trying to accommodate my schedule, but stay tuned because exciting things are coming to the channel. Thank you everyone for watching. And again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on all my social media platforms. And as always, be well, and see you around in the next video.